Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss fugacity. Now, fugacity. This concept was first given by G. N. Lewis in around say nineteen not one, and he utilized the concept of free energy, and he used the concept of free energy as a function. He used free energy function and he uh, derived the concept of fugacity so fugacity actually was introduced to represent the behavior or represent the actual behavior of uh, gases which are not ideal so as we all know that no gas is an ideal gas and if the gases are not ideal they will not follow the ideal gas equation that is pv is equal to and rt and all the gas will depart from the ideal gas behavior and as we all know that this relation pv is equal to nrt was derived by taking certain assumptions and all the gases are uh, we can say real gases and they no will not behave ideally now gases uh, they behave ideally when we either reduce the pressure or Uh, increase the temperature of the system, and then we will see that all the gases will follow on this particular equation. Now, using the free energy function by using first and second law of thermodynamics, uh, we know that G is equal to H minus T S. Again, H can be written as G is equal to E plus P B minus Yes. Now, if we differentiate this equation, we will get dB is equal to dE plus this. We can differentiate it by parts. That is, keeping one constant, differentiating other, differentiating second, and keeping first constant. So we can write V dP plus P dV minus. Similarly, this will also be differentiated by parts. So you can write T D S minus S D T. Now again, the change, or we can write D E plus P D V can be written as D Q from first law of thermodynamics. That is D E plus D V is nothing but the amount of heat gain, or that is nothing but the mathematical form of first law of thermodynamics plus V D P. Minus T D S minus S D T. Again, from second law of thermodynamics, we know that uh, we know that uh, D S is equal to D Q by T. So we can write D Q is equal to T D S. So we can write T D S plus V D P minus T D S minus S D T. Both these terms. Will be cancelled out, and hence we will have V D P minus S D T. So we use the change in the free energy. Now, <coughs> if we consider that our system is as or is an isothermal system, so for an isothermal system, the change or the heat loss, or we can say that the temperature of the system it remains constant. So dT will be equal to zero. So dT when we take dT is equal to zero, this term will be equal to zero, and we can write dG is equal to V dP. Now, if we consider that our system is an ideal system, and for a one mole of an ideal system, we can write PV is equal to RT. So PV is equal to RT. T is equal to R T. We uh, we can rearrange this equation. We can write V is equal to R T by T. So we can write D G is equal to R T by T into D P. And again, D P upon P can be written as R T D L N of T. So change in the free energy that is D G. Can be written as R T D L N T, and this equation or this relation holds good when our system is a ideal system. 
but for an real system levis he introduced a new term which was symbolized by letter f and this new term is known as fugacity so for a real system the above equation or the pressure in the above equation can be replaced by fugacity f and hence we can write dg is equal to rt dln f where f is the fugacity of the system and hence now this relation holds good for all the real system and hence uh, fugacity can be defined or fugacity can be expressed as it is nothing but it is the escaping tendency of any substance from one state to another and which includes the departure from or which includes the departure from an ideal system so as i have told f is the fugacity of the system and it is nothing but it is the escaping tendency of a substance from one state to another state uh, this can be understood by taking the example that suppose uh, we are taking 50 ml of methanol in a 100 ml bottle so in this bottle we can say that or we can see that 50 ml will remain empty now this 50 ml or the empty volume 50 ml empty volume will slowly be occupied by the vapors of methanol okay and as we know that methanol is a real system or the vapors of methanol are re real considered as a real system okay then or uh, we can say that the pressure that is exerted or the vapor pressure that is exerted by the vapors of methanol or we cannot say pressure but it is the fugacity of the system okay again the above equation g is a state function so similarly fugacity will also be state function and suppose if we integrate the above equation between the limits or between the two states suppose if we say that g1 is our initial state and g2 is the final state similarly f1 is the initial state and f2 will be the final state so if we integrate the above equation between the limits that is between g1 to g2 dg we can write this is equal to integration f1 to f2 rt dln f okay so now in this equation if we integrate this then we will get delta g is equal to rt ln of f2 upon f1 similar similarly if we integrate this equation that is uh, this equation okay so if we integrate same equation then we may get delta g is equal to rt ln p2 upon p1 and if we compare both these equations then we can write pressure or we can write fugacity is proportional to pressure if we compare both these equations then we can write fugacity is proportional to pressure and if we take proportionality constant or how we can also write f is equal to k into p where k is our proportionality constant now if the proportionality constant is equal to unity or if it is equal to 1 then we can write fugacity will be equal to pressure p and thus the real gas will start behaving ideal gas will start behaving as an ideal gas and this is true only in case of ideal gases but for real gas fugacity is or the proportionality constant k for real systems it is not equal to 1 and hence the ratio that is f by p will not be equal to unity or it is not a constant and as we know that for any system if we reduce the pressure or if we decrease the pressure then or if we lower the pressure of the system then 
the behavior approach is that of an ideal gas so at low pressure or if the system is taken at low pressure and at high temperature it starts behaving as if they are ideal systems and hence always the reference is taken as low pressure and as the reference is taken as at low pressure we can write limit of p tends to 0 <coughs> f by p will be equal to unity that is uh, we can write change or uh, we can write the ratio of fugacity is to pressure will be equal to unity when pressure tends to zero so as we deduce the pressure our real gas will start moving or our real gas will start moving towards ideal gas or it will start behaving like an ideal gas and as a result the ratio will be equal to one and hence we can write fugacity is equal to pressure and uh, fugacity it is nothing but it is a short of a fictitious uh, fictitious pressure which is used in case of real system so over here as for an ideal system we use pressure p so for real system we use fugacity f and as we know that unit of pressure is atmosphere similarly the unit of fugacity will also be atmosphere so i hope uh, you have liked the lecture thank you very much and if you have any comments then please write in the comment box thank you